A jaw-dropping view over the Chaparral fire tonight, showing the intense conditions firefighters are facing in California. It almost looks like a tornado. This fire burning in the southwestern part of the state it is small compared to the massive fire that is burning to the north. The Caldor fire inching closer to the Nevada border tonight, scorching more than 210,000 acres. Some needed signs of relief, though. Winds expected to die down. It couldn't happen at a more critical time. News Nation's Chip Yost is live in Kirkwood tonight. It's about 35 miles south of South Lake Tahoe, where about 22,000 residents were forced to evacuate earlier this week because of the fire. They feared their town wouldn't make it through. Chip, what's the latest out there? Well, actually, firefighters have some things working in their favor this evening. You talked a little bit about it. For one, the red flag warning is over. The winds have died down a bit. The skies are clearing up a bit as well, so the, the helicopters and planes can get some more precise airdrops in. But there are still some problems, and you're looking at one of them right now. That right there is the Caples Valley, where they have an active firefight going on right now. To give you some perspective where we're at, where this part of the fire is, it's on the southern part of the fire. We've been talking a lot about South Lake Tahoe. South Lake Tahoe is on the northeast side, pretty much in the direction you're looking right now, 15 to 20 miles as the bird flies. In the South Lake Tahoe area, they're doing pretty good right now, but here, firefighters still have a battle on their hands. Nearly three weeks in, and the Caldor Fire is still doing damage. Here in the Caples Valley, on the south end of the fire, firefighters are trying to prevent the fire from reaching the Kirkwood Ski Resort and some cabins in the area. And even though the red flag warning is over, the winds are still presenting a challenge. We're in extremely rugged territory throughout this whole fire, and this is a huge fire incident with all different types of terrain. Uh, the winds, even though we're not in red flag warning, the winds do gust throughout that area and over the ridgetops. They can reach gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour, even without being in a red flag warning. So still pushing the fire. So far since the fire started, it has destroyed more than 600 homes across more than 300 square miles of destruction. Ashes from the fire can now be seen washing up on the shores of Lake Tahoe. And with South Lake Tahoe under mandatory evacuation, bears have had free reign around town. But for that area of the fire, things are looking better. Thursday, the reduced winds and better conditions allowed firefighters to light backfires on the outskirts of South Lake Tahoe. So crews are in here backfiring and they have to wait till conditions are just right to do this. Uh, and all it is is controlled fire taking away the fuels in front of the fire, preventing the fire from being able to come in and move in that direction. So in a sense, we're guiding the fire in a direction that we want it to go. Back here on the south side, one of the reason firefighters are putting so many resources on this part of the fire is because there are cabins back there they're trying to save. Also, we're standing right in front of the Kirkwood Ski Resort. They want to save that. Now, as for containment, you touched on it at the beginning. We're at 25% containment, but in about 15, 20 minutes or so, we're expecting an update. And based on some of what we're seeing, we believe those containment numbers will probably go up a bit. For now, reporting live at the Caldor Fire, I'm Chip Yost. We'll send it back to you. That's some good news. Thank you, Chip, and a thank you to all the firefighters out there on the front lines working to keep these fires back.